Hi guys and welcome to this week's tutorial. Today we're going to install our clone and we're going to set it up with encryption and use it with various cloud storage providers. We will sync folders and work with encryption and even stream encrypted media files from the cloud. OK, so today we're going to use our clone on our server. So what is our clone? Well, it's a program which is written in the Google Go programming language, which allows us to copy, move and sync files and directories between our server and various commercial cloud storage providers. And in this video, we will install our clone as a plugin in Unraid, connect to a cloud storage provider. And in this video, we'll connect to Amazon Drive, Dropbox and Google Drive. Then we'll configure our clone to use encryption. We will configure some Docker containers to connect via our clone. And in this video, we'll use a file manager called Crusader and a media endpoint called MB. And then we'll create a share from the our clone mount for use on our network. Then finally, we'll do things like copying and syncing files and directories. Okay, so let's get started and install the plugin. But one thing before we do, it makes it much, much easier if we restart the server and start it in GUI mode. You will see why in a bit, so just restart the server and then let's install the plugin. So as always we'll do that from community applications. So just go to the community applications then type in our clone and click the search button. And we want to install the our clone beta and the plugin not the docker, that's in the bottom left hand corner. And we're also going to need the user scripts plugin, so after that type in user scripts then press search and install the user script plugin. And with those two plugins installed, go across to settings and then scroll right down to the bottom and you'll see the two plugins here. Click onto our clone and at the top left you'll see a drop down box with four different sections. Here we're in the config part but we don't actually configure it from here. For that we need to bring up a terminal window and SSH into our server. And to start our configuration we have to type in our clone space config and then hit enter. And here you'll see five options and what we want to do is make a new remote. So we're going to click N for the new remote connection to a cloud server. And the first thing we need to do is to give it a name. So as it's Amazon Drive I'm going to call it Amazon. And next we have to choose from this list of what type of cloud storage it is and I've got to choose number one because it's Amazon Drive. And for client ID just leave that blank and click enter. And same for client secret, press enter. Now here's the part where it asks if you want to use auto config and this is exactly why we restarted our server in GUI mode. And so we need to type Y for yes but if you for some reason couldn't start up your machine in GUI mode then you're going to have to say N for no and you're going to have to connect using another machine that has our clone on it in order to configure this. So it's much much better to have your server started in GUI mode so that we can use the auto configuration. So just type Y then hit enter and then in the Unraid GUI and now this has to be done on the server you can't do this with say your laptop connected to the server it has to be done on the server itself type into the browser http colon forward slash forward slash 127.0.0.1 colon 53682 forward slash a u t h next it will say sign into our clone using your amazon account so just put in your amazon username and password to sign into your amazon drive after which you'll get a message saying success and to go back to our clone to continue and you'll see in your terminal window that there's now a code there that allows our clone to be able to log into Amazon Drive and all you need to do is press yes this is ok and that's Amazon Drive all set up so now let's go on and make a new remote and set up Dropbox again we need to name it so we'll just name it Dropbox and for storage type, this type we're going to choose number 4 for Dropbox and leave this blank and also leave this blank and we just need to copy and paste this line here and put it into a browser doesn't have to be in the Unraid GUI this time, we can do this one on our laptop and that will take you to the Dropbox sign-in page so just put in your username and password and then it will give you a code, so copy and paste the code 
and then we're going to need to put it in here then type Y for yes this is okay and hit enter and that's Dropbox set up okay and lastly we'll set up Google Drive so type N for new and then give it a name let's call this one Google then choose number 7 for Google Drive and again leave this empty and also this one now this is another one we have to set up through the Unraid GUI so we need to type Y for yes Again, we want to put in this same link into our Unraid GUI, which is http colon forward slash forward slash 127.0.0.1 colon 53682 forward slash AUTH. Then you just log into your Google account and click on to allow. And when you see success come up, then the code will be successfully put into the terminal window, and that's Google Drive set up. Okay, so that's Amazon Dropbox and Google now set up. So now let's set up some encryption onto the Amazon Drive. So for that we want to type in N for a new remote. And I'm going to name this one Secure. And this time for storage type we're going to choose number 5, Encrypt forward slash decrypt. And now here's where we choose the cloud storage that we're going to connect to. And I said I'm going to connect mine to Amazon. So this is the name that I've named my Amazon Cloud Drive, it's Amazon. So that's what I want to put for my remote name that I'm going to be creating the secure storage in. Then we must put a colon, and because we don't want to encrypt the whole of the root of the cloud storage, then we just need to put a directory name. And I'm going to keep mine the same, I'm going to call it secure. And for file name encryption, we want to choose number two, so we encrypt the file names as well. And for this part, I like to choose my own password, so I type yes to choose my own password. Make sure you give it a strong password, don't give any weak passwords. Now you need to choose a password for salt. Um, it's definitely a good idea to have this and not to skip it. And again, choose your own password, but make sure it's different from the one you chose before. Okay, so that's done. So now we can just type Y for yes. And now we can just see we've got the four things here we've got Amazon Dropbox Google and secure so now type Q to quit and now we're just going to type RC clone space LSD space Amazon colon and what this command will do is list our directories inside the Amazon cloud storage and as you can see there's four folders here and if you notice one at the bottom there's our one called secure which is our encrypted folder and we'll quickly run the same commands for both Google Drive and for Dropbox. But in Google Drive there are actually no folders because I haven't created any folders in there. But there should be a few in Dropbox. So that's the R clone configuration done. And you see if we go back to the plugin, you can see here that that's now filled in. Right, so what we're going to do next is to create a mount script. And this is so we can mount the cloud storage directly into our Unraid file system. And we're going to mount it into forward slash mnt forward slash disks. And this is important if we want to be able to have Docker containers be able to access the cloud storage. Okay, so if you've only got one cloud storage to mount, then this script is absolutely ideal. Part here, you would put this to the local path on your server, and you'd want to have that in the forward slash mnt forward slash disks folder. And this second part here, you just set the remote path. Um, for instance, in the video, we created an Amazon share. So you could just have that as Amazon colon. Or if you wanted it to be the secure encrypted one, what we made earlier, it would be there Amazon colon and then secure. But I've got four things I want to mount, so I'm going to use my own script. I've got this script in the description, so if you wanted to mount more than one thing, you could just edit the script I'm going to paste into here. So let's delete all of this out and then paste this. And I'll just go through it quickly. This part here, um, the mkdir space hyphen p, this creates a folder which the cloud storage will be mounted into. Again, they're in the forward slash mount forward slash disks, and there's four of them here. There's one folder called Amazon, one folder called Dropbox, one folder called Google, and one folder called Secure. And this second section here, this actually mounts the cloud storage into those folders above. And again, we've got Amazon colon, Dropbox colon, Google colon, and Secure colon. 
and if you see the second part here that's exactly the same as the paths we have above here to mount it into these folders so once you've set up your script just click apply and then click move to user scripts and click OK right and so now we've got a mount script we want to have another script to unmount these cloud storages so just go to the unmount script and again if you've only got one thing then you would use this script and you just fill in this part here but because I've got four again I'm going to use my own script again this is in the description so basically you just use fuser mount space hyphen u to unmount it and then just the path to where each folder is again there's Amazon Dropbox Google and secure so click apply again and again we want to move this to user scripts right so next go on to settings and then scroll down and click on to user scripts and here you'll see the scripts that we've just put in um, the R clone mount script here and if we want to run it we have to click run in background don't click run script because it doesn't work you must click run background if you want to run it instantly and set the schedule to at startup of array so every time the array starts it will mount those points and for the unmount script set it for at the stopping of array and click apply right so now let's try it with some docker containers I'm just going to quickly install Crusader which is a file manager Okay, and now that's up and running. Let's just browse through to the Unraid mounts. And there we can see the disk S. And inside there we've got Amazon, Dropbox, Google and Secure. And so let's open our encrypted folder here. And then open Dropbox. And then open a folder in here. And let's just copy an image file across from Dropbox over to the encrypted file in our Amazon Cloud Drive. And so that's gone across fine. So that's copied across from Dropbox into Amazon Cloud and it's been encrypted as it went across. Okay, so now let's just go back across into our user folder here and open a share on the server and go back into the Amazon Secure part and copy the file from Amazon Secure encrypted folder into our share on our server and also we'll go back into Dropbox and go back into our image file here and just copy a few more image files across over onto the data share on the server Okay, and so now we'll look at this on the browser on my laptop, and there are all the files on the server which have come across from Dropbox and also the encrypted folder on the Amazon Cloud Drive. Right, so let's try something a bit more fun. Let's try streaming some media using MB. You can see here that my media folder is mapped across to the encrypted Cloud Drive, the one called Secure. So here we are in MB, there's only one thing here, Attack on Titan, so let's try playing a file from that. And you can see it's playing absolutely fine. Remember it's streaming from Amazon Cloud where it's encrypted and it's being decrypted on the fly and then playing on my computer. And it seems to be playing absolutely fine. Let's try seeking through and fast forwarding and see how that goes. And it's pretty much no delay at all, so it seems to be working really well. And obviously MB is very similar to Plex, so you know, either Plex or Embry would work fine and you better stream your media from the cloud and you better keep it encrypted as well. So now let's share the encrypted cloud storage on our network. So we don't add it from the shares part here, but it's really easy to do on Unraid anyway. We need to go to settings and then click on SMB and we add something into the SMB extras configuration file here. So just paste this in, which is in the description. Um, this top bit here where it says secure cloud, that's going to be the name of the share. And the path here is the path that we've defined before, the forward slash MNT forward slash disks forward slash secure. And then just when you've put it in, just click on apply and click done. And now on the laptop, we'll just browse for the share. At the bottom there, you can see secure cloud. And there's all our files there. There's the Attack on Titan files that we were playing on MB earlier. So let's tr try playing it with VLC now. Okay, and again, there it's playing absolutely fine. And we can try fast forwarding it again on VLC. And again, the tracking's absolutely fine. So let's try copying a file over into the share as well. 
Now that's worked absolutely fine. So we can play video files, we can copy files into the share, and we can read files from the share. But please remember that although it's working in this video, remember that our clone is in beta, so your mileage may vary with this. But for me, this has been working really well. Right, so the final thing we're going to do in this video is we're going to sync a folder to the cloud. Now I've created a share here called test and inside you'll see there's just three image files. So let's SSH into the server and then run the following command. Our clone space sync space hyphen V which gives us a printed output of what's happening then forward slash mnt, forward slash user, and forward slash test. So that's the source folder where we're syncing from, and we're going to sync across to secure colon test, which is the Amazon Cloud encrypted folder into a subfolder called test. Okay, so that's done. So let's go back to our file browser on the laptop, and let's just add another couple of files in here. So now we'll run the same command again and this time it will only copy across the new files that weren't there before. Okay, so now we want to go to settings and go back down to the Arclone plugin and go to the custom script and just type in the same command here. Then click apply and then click on to move to user scripts again and now just let's look at that in user scripts. And there you can see the custom script and you can schedule this to run whenever you want. I'm going to schedule mine to run daily and then just click apply and then done. So guys, so there we have it. Every day that will run it will sync that folder across to the encrypted folder on the Amazon Cloud Storage. I hope you liked this video and you found it useful. If you did then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for a new video every week. If you like what I do then every donation is appreciated which you can do through the link in the top right. So guys whatever you're up to for the rest of the day I hope it's good and I'll catch you all in that next video.